In friendship, Maine, following the death of her father, neurotic and spoiled heiress Kerrigan Crittenden discovers she has only been left Whipstaff Manor in his will while his vast wealth has gone to several charities. Kerrigan and her lawyer Dibbs find a map within the will's papers that tell of an alleged treasure hidden inside the manor, but find the property haunted by a friendly ghost named Casper and his poltergeist uncles the ghostly trio. They unsuccessfully attempt to force the ghosts out by way of paranormal experts and a demolitions team. A lonely Casper watches a news report about paranormal therapist James Harvey and is instantly smitten with his teenage daughter, Kat, prompting Casper to inspire Kerrigan in summoning James to Whipstaff. Kat dislikes her father's reputation and obsession with contacting the ghost of his late wife, Amelia. The Harveys move into Whipstaff but Casper's attempt to befriend them fails when his uncles try to torment and scare them away. Casper gains the Harvey's trust when he serves them breakfast, and follows Kat to school, where she becomes popular when her class learns she is living in Whipstaff, and agrees to host their Halloween party there. Her envious classmate Amber plots with her friend, Vic, who Kat has a crush on, to humiliate Kat during the party. James attempts therapy sessions with the ghostly trio, who not only try to avoid them, but also reveal they know Amelia, in exchange for convincing Kerrigan to leave them alone, they promise to go through the red tape involved to get James a meeting with his wife. James becomes despondent after the trio pulls a prank on him, prompting them to take him out on the town. They plan on killing him to make themselves a quartet, but have a change of heart after the drunken therapist declares he will tell Kerrigan off so they can stay in their home. However, while still drunk, James accidentally falls to his death down a manhole. 